Hi, in this video, I'm going to be answering the question, are all lumps breast cancer? I'll talk about the types of things that we do to determine whether something is cancer or not, and the different types of things that might be a lump, but not cancer. Before I go on, I'd love to have you subscribe to our channel. We're always putting out new content. So to answer the question, are all lumps in the breast breast cancer? No, certainly not. And in fact, the majority of lumps and bumps that people come to the physician with are not cancer. In a primary care doctor setting, family medicine, or an internist, a pediatrician, the vast majority of breast lumps are not cancer. I'm an oncologist, so it's more likely that somebody I see will have cancer. They've already gone through an evaluation and then they're sent to see me for evaluation and management of breast cancer. But if you take a thousand people with a breast lump, most of those will not be cancer. So let's talk about the things that they might be if they're not cancer. First, I'm going to define benign versus malignant. Benign comes from the Greek word good, and while certainly having a lump in your breast is not something we want, something that's benign is not malignant or bad. It might be troublesome, it might cause symptoms, it might take you to the doctor, but it doesn't have the potential to grow or to spread, in particular spread through other parts of the body. So benign breast masses can increase in size over time, but they cannot, by definition, spread to other parts of the body and later cause trouble. Malignant lesions or tumors or lumps, on the other hand, are ones that have the ability to grow and to spread and cause trouble down the road, either very soon or many years down the road. Not all malignant lumps are breast cancer. Other cancers can show up in the breast. I won't go into that in a lot of detail but please drop us a comment or question if you have one. I'd like to spend most of the time talking about benign lumps in the breast or benign masses and how we tell the difference between the two. So masses that are not cancerous or not malignant can be something like a cyst. A cyst is a fluid-filled sac, and breast tissue is full of sacs that can become fluid filled. So this is very common. We also can have fibroadenomas. Most things in, ad in OMA, not carcinoma, are benign. That's not the case for 100% of tumors. But a fibro is made of fibrous tissue, adenoma. It's a benign growth made of fibrous tissue. These tend to be round and smooth and movable within the breast. They also have a characteristic appearance on ultrasound. So an ultrasound can be very helpful for actually both cysts and fibroadenomas. Other things that can show up in the breast that feel like a lump can be a site of trauma. So if you had a big thump to the breast tissue, you can get a bruise in the breast itself, and that might be a collection of blood, like a hematoma, or it could be a seroma, a collection of serum. And again, these end in oma, not carcinoma, so that's a tip-off that they're benign. Trauma does not increase the risk of breast cancer. We used to think that it did, but it doesn't. But it sure can cause a lump in the breast. So something that hits the breast, I had a patient who was a horseback rider who many years before she was diagnosed with breast cancer had injured herself falling off of a horse. And that certainly can lead to a mass in the breast. There are other things that can lead to problems in the breast, like an infection. So if somebody were to be bitten by an insect, for example, that can set up an infection in the breast after uh, a baby is born, whether or not the mother is nursing, there can also be uh, mastosis or inflammation of the breast. And that can be a little tricky because it can feel lumpy and tender and red. And we also know that one can also develop 
breast cancer around the time of pregnancy. So none of these things are things we want to take lightly. But it is important to know that one can get swelling and lumpiness after delivery, whether one is nursing or not. Another thing that can cause breasts to feel lumpy is fibrocystic changes. We used to call this fibrocystic disease, but now we call this fibrocystic changes. And these are just normal changes in the texture of the breast that can occur and tend to vary throughout the menstrual cycle. Fibrocystic changes feel like ropes along the breast. If one were to feel under the skin, feel palpate the breast, under the skin one would feel sort of ropey texture, and it would be usually in more than one place in the breast and symmetric. The most common places that we see these are in the upper outer quadrants, the outside top of the breast where we can see fibrocystic changes. If you feel a lump in your breast and you haven't yet been seen by a doctor, it's helpful to know if the changes in one side are matched in the other. Is there some symmetry? That can be very helpful for us. Another thing we can have in the breast is a lipoma. This is a fatty tissue. It's a benign fatty tissue. We can have those all over the body, including the breast tissue. I'd like to spend a few minutes talking about the anatomy of the breast. The breasts are composed of both glands. Well, actually, the whole breast is a gland, if you think about it, in that it secretes something, and that is milk and other things like colostrum. But we have uh, lobules that make milk and make this other fluid, other things. And then we have the ducts along which the milk is carried. So if we think about the most common thing that milk, that breasts make, it's milk. And that's made in the lobules and then carried along the glands to the nipple. We can have masses that arise in the lobules or in the ducts. And then less commonly, there can be abnormalities, whether they're benign or malignant in the stroma or stromal supporting connective tissue of the breast. Those are the tissues that hold everything together. And then of course there's the skin. So what do we do if we think that somebody has a lump and we're not sure if it's benign or malignant? We can't actually tell the difference just by feeling something in the breast. So I'll give you a couple extreme examples. In a 12-year-old who's developing breast tissue, I can be pretty sure that if she has two small areas of denser tissue below the nipple, that this is normal breast development. There's symmetry. One might be larger than the other, so the left side may develop more quickly than the right or the other way around. But this is a very common cause for concern when um, young girls are going through puberty. At the other extreme, we, let's say we have somebody who's in their 70s and they have a mass in the breast and in one side of the breast and no others. This is a dominant mass, sort of one that stands out over all the others and there's nothing symmetric, there's no corresponding lump on the other side, until proven otherwise that lump is a cancer. So those are our two extremes. Really for everybody else, we can't tell just by feeling or looking whether something is benign or malignant. We can look at characteristics of the lump and say, for example, this is round and smooth and mobile in a 23-year-old that's more likely a fibroadenoma. It fluctuates during menses, so it gets larger during the menstrual period and then smaller after menstruation. Or in somebody where the ropey changes are felt throughout, I'm doing this, this is what it feels like, like little ropes under the skin. We can say this is most likely to be fibrocystic changes, but whenever we feel one or more masses, dominant masses that are harder or they're increasing in size and they don't fluctuate with menstrual periods, we want to do additional imaging, additional pictures and evaluation. So we might start in a very young person with an ultrasound or in somebody 30 and over 
with no family history with a mammogram. And we recommend that both sides be evaluated. And then if there's anything concerning, we proceed to do a biopsy. Or if our suspicion is low, we might do repeat pictures six months later, repeat mammogram six months later, for example. I've covered a lot in this video. I hope it's been helpful. We'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment or a question below. While we can't give medical advice, we can tell you the sorts of general things that we know about lumps, whether they're benign or malignant. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.